There has been a lot of hype about golden rice and from the track record of the biotech industry whenever they make a lot of hype there is reason to suspect that this might be yet another ploy a tool of exploitation so to verify i checked with dr anthony samsel biochemist and independent research scientist who has been studying this gmo and especially glyphosate and so on for more than 10 years in cambridge massachusetts and this is what he had to say and then there is the issue of uh, the golden rice uh, anthony india and uh, no in third world countries uh, uh, and, no in and, in, in and, and in india uh, it was uh, initially promoted by the rockefeller foundation uh, however the rockefeller foundation has since uh, from what i understand changed its views of uh, of vitamin a uh, the like to say is responsible for the destruction of vitamin a and for the body's uh, inability uh to be able to utilize vitamin a um so golden rice uh is not necessarily a good thing i mean no one no one has uh, has taken and tested uh uh the golden rice as to its effects on our microbiome no one right. knows what increased levels of uh of um carotenoids are going to do to our biology uh the same as no one knows what increased levels of lycopene uh uh anthocyanins, uh, lutein, uh, all of these things that genetic engineers uh, have been increasing in certain species of vegetables. I mean, Burpee Seed Company, uh, for home gardeners, they came out a couple of years ago with what they call the antioxidant collection, uh, and they came out with a species uh, of cucumber that had... Uh, 500% more beta carotene. They had uh, uh, another variety of pepper called sweet heat pepper. Uh, it was a, a hot pepper that had 65% more vitamin C. Another uh, uh, several varieties of, uh, of lettuce and greens with uh, extra lutein, beta carotene, carotenoids. Uh, uh, their variety cherry punch uh, tomato uh, has 40% more lycopene. Uh, who? Uh, oh, and then they have another variety of tomato. Uh, I, I think it's called Solar Power, and it's three hundred percent more beta carotene. Who said, or who gave them the idea that supersizing the vitamin uh, content uh, of plants is good for our biology? Mm. Uh, the, uh, um, beta carotene in itself, the, the carotenoids, those are fat soluble. They, we don't pee them out like vitamin C. They get stored in, in, uh, in, in fats and they can become toxic. Now, if, uh, if we have a system that's in balance already, uh, if we just happen to be one of the fortunate people that, uh, that our, our, uh, our system is in balance, and we don't need additional beta carotene. What's this additional beta carotene going to do to us? Mm. I, I think it's totally irresponsible mm. of the biotech industry to come up and use the McDonald's uh, hamburger mentality on the world mm. uh, to supersize everybody. We mm. don't need to be supersized. Yeah, true. You know, Anthony, I have been accused of essentially committing a crime against humanity for objecting to a golden rice. That well, really surprised the hell out of me. Let me say this, Tony, about golden rice. That's poppycock. That's baloney. That, uh, that golden rice uh, is, is, is needed to cure the vitamin A deficiencies of the world. What is needed to cure the vitamin A deficiencies of the world is we need to get rid of glyphosate. Because your uh, uh, because 
uh, with vitamin A, there's a direct relationship between vitamin A and zinc and vitamin D. And uh, all three. And then with vitamin D, of course, there's calcium and magnesium that are associated with your ability uh, to uh, absorb, make vitamin D and to, and to utilize it in your body, uh, as well as to be able to absorb and utilize vitamin A. Um, vitamin A is directly uh, related to zinc uh, and zinc deficiencies, of which glyphosate ties up zinc and bacteria related to, uh, to the function of zinc. Zinc uh, is necessary for hundreds and hundreds of biochemical reactions within the human body. And when you start messing with zinc and vitamin D and uh, uh, and, uh, and vitamin A and the B vitamins and uh, cabalabin and vitamin B12, you're, you're, you're setting up uh, your, your biology or the biology of uh, any animals that are eating this stuff, you're setting them up for an early death. Uh, hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm appalled at, at the thinking uh, uh, of these people that want to promote uh, golden rice. Golden rice is not necessary. And there you have it, folks. Golden rice is poppycock. It's baloney. You want to save the world and improve their vitamin A? Then stop the baloney and get rid of the glyphosate first. Then we can talk.